Hello everyone, it's Chris and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how I made this cool PCB earring, so let's get started. First, let me show you this old earring design that I made last year as a project entry for Instructables Art Contest. This design has earned a runner-up trophy which motivated me to produce an advanced one and make a tutorial about it. This earring design is based on two main parts. The small microcontroller 80Tiny13 has a 3.3mm body size and these addressable LEDs have a 2x2mm body size. I selected these small parts to keep a small size of the earring. The circuit will be powered by a CR1220 coin cell battery of 3V and this will not affect the data transmission from 80Tiny to WS28 LED registers because considering the LED datasheet, the smallest voltage for high level is 2.7V and the smallest voltage for low level is minus 0.3V, then the 3V sent by 80Tiny to the LED registers will be well interpreted. The 3V will only affect the LED brightness, but this is not a limit because I tested the LEDs with 3V power supply and it looks bright enough. I moved it to Altium Designer and brought the necessary parts to establish this schematic. You can visit Octoport where you can download all the CAD files needed for the used parts and easily add them to your Altium schematic. Here I used 8 LED pixels connected in series and placed the 80 tiny alongside with this coin cell battery holder and slide switch for power on and off. I used pin B0 of 80 tiny to send color data to the pixels. I then transformed the schematic to a PCB design and here I draw this shape for board outline where I will place all the small parts. The overall size of the board is 30 by 30 millimeters, large enough to take all the used electronics components. I then draw these shapes to create board cutout slots, then I draw these shapes as top silk screen layer, then I arranged the pixels to the top side. I then placed the rest of the electronics components to the board bottom side. I showed in my previous tutorial how to program microcontrollers through ISP technique and I will use this technique to program the 80Tiny13 so I made the ISP pins of the microcontroller exposed through this 2x3 pads array of 1.27mm spacing. And here is how it looks, the earring in 3D view. I generated the design Gerber files and sent them to JLC PCB to place a PCB order. I set the boards to be produced in black color and 6 days later, the boards have been delivered very well and here are the PCBs of the earring. I'm all set for assembly so the next step is putting the solder paste on the top side components first and place the LED pixels one by one to get them assembled as first assembly side. I used my mini hot plate to perform the assembly and the earring size suits very well the hot surface. Here is a microscopic view of the pixels assembly. After getting the pixels assembled, I then moved it to the bottom side and did the same stuff by depositing solder paste on the 80 tiny pads, the slide switch and the battery holder. Then after placing the components, I reflowed the bottom side using a hot air gun. After that, I cleaned the assembled board with some flux removal solvent. Now the earring assembly has been completed, so we move to the software part. I used Arduino IDE to program the pixels, so I first need to upload the 80 tiny boat loader. I used my USB ASP as programmer and the small ISP adapter to connect with the earring port. And here I successfully get to upload the 80Tiny13 boat loader for Arduino IDE programming. Now I can upload codes to the earring board and to do this, I use this WS28 library that you can find its refer link in the description of this video. I write this code that will make the pixels perform some light animations in continuous mode and I uploaded it to the earring board. All what I have to do now is placing the coin cell battery and turn on the slide switch and here are the pixels shining. 
This is a very basic project idea that you can start with if you are willing to produce your own patterns. I'm not selling this as a ready-made device, but you can find in the description of this video all the files you need to follow my steps. That's it for today guys. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.